Now, wife is such an important thing because you are pairing up with somebody that will be one with you. When I see my pastor and I, and his wife is not with him or his wife, I know his wife is not in the building, like if she's not in my house, it made me feel weird. It makes me feel weird because I know she and he are one, whether you want to be or not. So when I look at you, that's what I see. When I saw Pastor Tim here with that white hoodie on, with that white hoodie on, I thought to myself, Miss Karen, well, you know Miss Karen when I let you wear that outside. Where is Miss Karen? <laughs> that's, just, that's just what I thought. <laughs> I think when I see my pastors, they're so precious to me. They're so, they're so precious. They're so cute. So I said, I've got to put them together with their mate. Who's your mate? I see Pastor Trent without Miss Katie. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Is that not? <laughs> it made me itch. Where is your mate? But Abraham's mate was dead. So what felt right for him? What felt right for the the the, 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 the people around them? Right to see. Right to well, what felt right for them? Because the Bible talks about when Abraham died and how there was mourning by everybody around them. By everybody around them. So as they had to know Abraham had a wife and they had to know when she died, they had to mourn her. So they talk about it. It's like they mourn Rachel and then they mourn Leah and they mourn Jacob. They, they, they talk about it and they know you are gone. They mourn you, right? You, they mourn you losing your mate. But here's the thing. He said, put your hand under my side. And I said, what is he expecting them to do? Promise me that you will not get a, a wife for my, my, my son around here. Promise me that you will go back. Let me stop there. First of all, you will not get a wife for my son around here. Right? We talked about the, it's not me for me to take children's bread and cast it to the dogs. Uh, lady, right? The, the Syrophoenician, right? Who turns out to be a Canaanite. Who turns out to be, right? Talking, because Jesus will be an Israelite. And this woman is a Canaanite, right? So if you go back, go back, rewind. <laughs> Right, rewind. Right, and I'm not if I need to make that sound. I don't need to make that sound, right? And I could better the first time. Anyway, so then, so then, Jesus is the light and from Canaanite, right? So her descendants probably, not her descendants, her ancestors probably would have been the people that was living around Abraham. And Jesus' um, ancestor doesn't exist. But, but, but for our purposes, his natural ancestor would be Abraham. On Mary's side. 17,000 times removed. <laughs> Almost like we're, we're having the same conversation. Israelites versus Canaanites. Israelites versus Canaanites. Go! Right? Same conversation, different situation. She came uh, asking for meat. Everyone sitting in his tent and uh, his tent and said, Do not give any of these people my meat. This is my son. Give my meat. Right? Do not give him my meat. <laughs> Crazy. But wait. I got one better for you. Promise me, see, you got to, you got to do it right now because your hand is under my thigh. Don't move your hand. Promise me. <laughs> Promise me you will go back to the attack. Promise me. It, mm, my God. I'm a hack. <laughs> go back to the attack. Promise me. God said, leave your country and your family. When he, when he, when he, when he, when he recruited Abraham, didn't he? He recruited him for the job of being the father of many nations. He recruited him. thing was I think that Abraham thought that he was supposed to be the father of many nations horizontally <laughs> I'm not saying that way he, he, he saw it horizontally where he would have kids 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 all through they would all be sisters and brothers and he'd be the father of many nations that way horizontally through, through being the father of all these kids but I don't think that was the case he's supposed to be the father of many nations through Isaac because Isaac was pulling uh, God was pulling nations from Esau and Jacob through, through, we don't know how many uh, kids actually Esau had um, but he uh, was with uh, he had many wives of the, 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 the daughters of Cain right so he married over and over again but he, he had a great life he had you know he's had his old people you know he was doing his thing so he's happy he's happy but the thing is God was opening up a generational thing through Jacob and the 12 sons would be the 12 tribes would be the 12 nations would be the 12 generations we don't always know god was going vertical he's going in one straight line right down uh, by, by abraham isaac jacob right you think that i'm going to do it the way that you 
want me to do it. I'm not doing that. Wait, take your hand from me to stop. Here's the thing. Whether he had went back to Kalada, you made more trouble for yourself by going back, by sending him back. Because God told him, he said, when he came over, he said, leave your father's house and get away from your country. He said, leave your family and your country. He didn't set out, he left. He said, leave your family and your country. Say, man, did it. Except I bought lies. How many of us lives on the except the um, except us? Except I did I, I'm, except I just do this one thing. Except I just do this one thing. Okay, I did all the homework. Uh, Pastor David, I did all the homework except I just mm, I didn't do the scripture. I didn't do this part of it. Except us. Except I, except I, except I, except I ain't nothing but a excuse. And you brought Lot with you. Now you end up in a whole lot of trouble. The descendant that you're supposed to have took extra long to come. It may have been that God would have blessed him with many children horizontally to Sarah. But 25 years down the drain of them trying to make it happen themselves, landed them with one kid. And one kid, you better hope he's like the one. He's the golden child. He's the one. You better hope it. <laughs> so what do you do? I believe that the, the hand of the desired thing is a practice from earth. Because he said, put your hand on my thigh and swear before the Lord. Now, why I feel the practice um, from earth? Because Abraham and Sarah was out there by themselves. They ran into the king of Egypt and they fought people off, right? To, for Lot, to protect Lot, because Lot got kidnapped. Because Lot was always getting in a whole lot of trouble. Lot got kidnapped. I was reading like, oh, Lot. Y'all need to just say Dateline there for him. They'd rather handle it because um, Lot is just, wow, he is the eye maintenance. But then I felt like, what you feel saying, um, Jamie? <laughs> so, okay, I understand. Yeah. Anyway. He said, get away from your family and your country. And so he came. I just bought Lot, you know? The one thing you bring along, right? Uh, here's, here's the thing. Rachel sat on the, mm, she sat on the idol. And I, I tell you, I tell you, she was okay up until that point. She sat on that idol and then lied about it and did it. She lied and said she had her womanly. That's why she could not get up. Uh, right? Uh, she lied about that. And she lied about having an idol there. I believe that she died in childbirth, uh, right? Because she shoved an idol. Not, no, I'm kind of like, you ain't praising God for the baby. You're shoving idols up there. You wonder why you died having a baby? You're shoving idols up there. What are you putting up? Yourself. They left. She, they left, and she left with idols. The Bible says she grabbed her father's idol. You don't know what you're bringing along on the journey that will end up killing you. Spiritually, naturally, physically, killing your time, killing your happiness. It took 25 years of Abraham's life because they kept trying to do it their own way. Rachel died on the way. She didn't even get to the place. She died on the way. It's odd that she died in Bethel. Or on their way before, right before they got to Bethel, I believe, because I don't believe that she ever made it to bread. I don't believe she's ever that. I could be wrong. You might have been in bread or got to bread a little bit. Maybe she's uh, buried in bread, but I don't know if I would want that. Would you? But anyway, I don't know if she made it to Bethel or Bethlehem. I, I don't know. All I know is she didn't make it. That's the worst thing people want to hear. When a whole bunch of people come in from a tragedy, and you say, oh, but where's my, my, my person, this person, uh, my, my son? And they're like, oh, no, he didn't make it. What do you mean he didn't make it? So the other people that were strong enough to get there and made it, and they could have helped my son along? Or, did, or are you saying that he just couldn't make it, so you left him there? He just he didn't, he didn't make it. She, 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 Rachel. She didn't make it. She brought an idol along. No different than Abraham. What did he do? He brought an idol along. Right? The hard thing about it for me is whether we want to realize it or not. I'm going to make a, a really odd statement, but I enjoy doing it. Servant, right, was told, do not get a woman for my son. Here, go to my land. My land. My land. Go back there. Go back there. Go back there. Back there for an attack there. Go back there. 
sermon goes back there. He says, okay, are the first woman, I haven't read this in a long time, but so y'all let me know. First woman that actually um, offers me something to drink. I think I'm going to ask her, right? But I want to know for certain if this is a woman, right? So after she offers me something to drink, I drink something, I will know she's the wife that you are choosing, God, for your servant if she offers to uh, a feed or water my cameras. Ding, 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 ding. Rebecca wins. Flawless victory. Rebecca wins. So they pick Rebecca up and bring her to the promised land, right? After Lot got, we got rid of Lot. We put him in the Mac 10, right? We got rid of Lot, and from Lot came Moab and Ammon, right? Who fought with the Israelites, right? As long as they were around. Now, you then go, right? And you put your hand on his thigh. Hand on his thigh. You put my hand, your hand, right? With my thigh, you won't get get it smacked around. But here's the thing. He put his hands under his thigh and made him swear before the Lord. So now you are bringing the vertical and the horizontal uh, 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 uh. together. You bring the vertical God and the horizontal uh, the land uh, the, the, the place where I brought you from uh, where I delivered you from uh, the Bible starts off by saying God gave Abraham so many things and by verse 5, verse five Abraham is sending his son, his servant, his master servant, right? To her. Uh, he never asked God, though. God, do you have a wife for my son? He said, no, I'm making a stipulation. Do not take a wife for my son from these people here. Take him, go back to her uh, and get him one. So you went through 25 years of problems because you brought Lot with you. So now you're going to go and get another Lot. Becca's nothing but another lot. She had longer hair. Why? Because she was from Earth. Earth? How do we know she was from Earth? Because Abraham took the servant back to his land. Back. Go back. We came forward. You go back. Go back and get somebody and drag them forward. We're going forward, so we're gonna we're gonna go back and get go back and get somebody. Go back. We're not gonna get a uh, people from what we have right here. We're gonna go back. Go back. Go get some back. Go eat it back. I don't know. Go back. Eat somebody's back. I don't know. <laughs> Go back. <sighs> it's a mess. So Abraham leaves her, right? But God brings him out. Abraham leaves her only to, right? Say, I don't want a wife, right? For my son, for these people here. Because either way, I don't know if these people are delivered or not, or going to be delivered or not. But God, I know you got them amongst me, even in the wilderness. And check this out. They're not from Earth. That's what I would have said. I don't know if I had a son, and I want them to marry um, that, that, that garbage can out there. But check this out. It ain't from New Jersey, so I know no bears in it, right? So I'm going back to Earth. And I'm going back to Earth and getting it. Rebecca had to be from Earth or someplace around. It in the surrounding areas. So the servant went and said, okay, um, here's the map. Okay, I'm at Ur. Ur down the street, five miles. Okay, I'll keep walking a little bit. And so he got to Ur with camels. And she won the bid. She won the, the watering game. She won the watering game. Nobody's asking God. Did the servant ask God? No. The servant said, I, I, I'm going to ask for the water, my, give me some water. And then, Lord, if she uh, feeds my camels or one of my camels, then I'll know the shield. He's saying lots with Re um, Rebecca. He's casting lots before her. He's in the game that we play. God, when I open up this Bible, magic leaves from cross the page on the read. Err. He's playing lots and that's why he got Rebecca. Rebecca won the game of lots. Rebecca was, we don't know Rebecca was supposed to be the wife. We know that Rebecca was a trickster just like her brother Laban. And the Laban was still there. And wait, Laban's story is not done either. So now we're going to bring Rebecca forward, right, to the promised land to marry Isaac. So now we brought her back with us. So now her hooks up with Isaac. Could that be why Isaac was blind? Could that be why Promise was blind? He's a picture of promise. Children are promised from the Lord, right? But he's a picture of promise because he's a promise, right? Of the birthright, of the promise of Abraham, right? Of, 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 of trickling down. So could that be why he was blind? Promise should not go blind, ever. But Isaac did. The Israelites did not get sick. And how they knew that um, sickness was wrong, how they knew something was wrong, and that God was displeased, right? Is that they got sick, or somebody got sick of the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the land, right? So they knew, right? So that's how they knew about aching, right? Or something was wrong. Sickness was something that God allowed them, they went allowed amongst them so that, so that they could see that he was not pleased, right? But like with the snakes, the moment they um, um, looked up at the snake on the, the, the pole, they, they, they were healed. The moment they drank the water.
her. Wait, we're not done with her yet, right? Because Rebecca has two sons, and they're named Isaac and uh, I'm sorry, not Isaac. They're named Esau and Jacob, right? So Jacob steals um, Esau's birthright, right? For the thief cometh not but for to steal, kill, and destroy. This thief came and stole his brother's birthright, right? So it, uh, was Esau wrong? Yes. And when he handled things wrong? Yes. But it still stands to say, if God said that I am going to make the youngest son, right, the leader of the pack, then I am going to do it. You don't have to do it your way. So here we go again. Usually when you do things your way, you have to steal, kill, and destroy to get it done, right? When I do things my way, I have to steal, kill, and destroy to get it done. And what happens? What happens? I end up having to co be a cohort of Satan just to get my life straight and be, get things done. And I usually come out screaming. Yeah. So Abraham left earth, right? He just didn't turn it back to earth to go get a wife for his son, right? So now his son is connected to earth. Then they have kids. And he steals his birthright. He steals his birthright. And so Rebecca says, go hide with my brother. He'll take care of you. He's living in earth. When are you gonna get rid of the err uh, in us? Err! Uh. Could be, right? Or could it be err? Uh. It's spelled you are. So err uh, could be a growl. Err! Uh. Like those bars. Those bars I talked about, those bars. That's all my dream. A block from where I grew up. Just walking around. Bare skin. Could it, could it, could it, could er be, uh, or could er be, mm, uh, duh. When I, when I spoke about er to you guys the first time, I went that route, right? Er, duh. I can not do an er, duh. Stuff, right? They'll do an er, duh. Wow. So then, uh, but now, but now, but, but, but now, er, seems a little appropriate. Abraham was told to do what to do. He was shown what to do. And instead of him looking up to God, he connected Ur and God together and made a cross of the two of them. And usually when you put two things together and make crosses out of them, it's hard to separate them. It's hard to separate them. He said, uh, put your hand on my thigh. I swear by God. Things from that point forward, everybody uh, that, that was supposed to be blessed, uh, right, uh, in that line was working with a deficiency. Isaac with his blindness and Jacob with his thigh. We came right back to the thigh. Could it be that's why Jesus uh, got pierced in his thigh? For everybody that had, that had an issue with the side of their body. For everybody that had an issue with like, being stabbed inside of their body. For everybody that had an issue with a, a wound in their side. Uh, Jesus was stabbed inside for me because I got an issue with a, uh, a wound in my side. And I love how they sing a song that flips it. I, I am healed by the wound in his side. I don't like the song. I am healed. I just had to throw that in here. The disclaimer. By the wound in his side. I am healed by the wound. In my Savior's side, I am healed by the wound in his side. I don't like it. You know what I'm going to elevate? <laughs> you know what I'm going to deep sin? Come down or something? Not a cold or anything like that. Just come down. Do some, do some tricks. Do some riffs. Do some flips. <laughs> something. I am healed by the wound in his side. Because Abraham put let you put his um his servant put his hand underneath his thigh. He had a master servant to put his hand underneath his thigh, but he did not seek out the master servant that would heal the situation for him and tell him. I, we don't know. We don't know. You know like, so many people are doing things. I'm, I'm walking around like, were you supposed to marry that person? We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. There's 
sometimes I mean, it's not about having an issue, right? Sometimes I got I got to give it to Christina Stevens. You know they were supposed to be married. You know it. They get on my last nerve, both of them. I was talking to Steven last night. I'm like, oh, here's the man. Just do it, Steven. You get on my nerves. Because I'm, I'm making him cut my, my, my frame off my art piece because keep hitting the floor. The frame is... Uh, I wanted to create a 3D effect for, from all angles. And, so he's like, okay, the guys, this saw, this saw. That's a boy thing, Steven. I don't, I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't speak or saw. I speak just cut it. He just kept talking. I was like, okay, if you don't cut it, I'm going to cut you. But you know they're supposed to be married. Do problems, do issues, things come up, right? Obviously, but you know they're supposed to be married. And you have other people, right, where the problems and issues come up. But no matter what, even when you're happy, you don't look right. You don't feel right to me. So I, I just do what I know I'm supposed to do. I just walk around away from them and say, Lord, I'm going to pray for them. But you just don't feel right. Why? Oh, I tell the parents that why did I get married? Great movie. Because in the first movie, I don't like the second movie because the guy dies. I don't like it when people die. I don't like that. So, first movie, right? All the couples come together on this mountain. And it's funny. Because all of them basically almost like literally like go nuts but you see they all have issues together but they came together so they started to talking and you know, like conversating and trying to get through it and it's a beautiful thing that's okay argue that's okay still scares me a little bit <laughs> okay a whole lot of it i don't like to see people argue it i don't like that but, but that's okay we get to wonder why you're really together I mean, Abraham got with all those women, and yet still, at the end of his life, he puts his, he has somebody put their hand under his, his thigh and promise not to let Isaac marry any Canaanites. What about your other 20 kids? You know, the ones you the baby daddy of. He went by Sarah, he literally went Mac Fellon, he went crazy. And now you got kids. And God just kept giving. I give that blessing, 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 blessing. Because he was Abraham. Because he had the right heart, right? He had a heart after God. So even though you mess up, here's the, here's the upside of it. Even though you mess up, God still, my God, he may not clean up all your messes. Even though you mess up, God still has a blessing for you. And it shows us Abraham was messing up right into his right old age. I mean, it's just... Teethless, gunman, make take take mom, go to my town and go get me a wife for my son. Why didn't you go? You speak to an earth. You speak it now. But I was trying to imitate not having teeth. Y'all get that, right? It's okay. He speak to an earth. Why did he go? The odd thing is at that time they were all living long like crazy. I think Abraham died because he gave up. None of my business.